Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Lexi, I am the Winter Child Witch. Um, nice to have you here. Um, I am going to be showing you today how to make Beltane Bannocks. Uh, two different versions, one is the more traditional version and then there is something a little bit more special of my own design. Um, nice of you to come along and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we've got a cup and a half of oats, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and an eighth of a teaspoon salt, one tablespoon of melted butter and a half a cup of hot water. Um, later on I'll also be using rosemary, I've got around, sorry, uh, rosemary and some honey. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very simple, very basic, very straightforward. You um, just mix all of the ingredients together. Um, it might be uh, advisable to, at this stage, like before you put in the water, to add in the um, salt and baking soda. I obviously completely did it the wrong way around, um, but it still came out quite quite nicely, so just mix all of those together. Um, quite thoroughly. Uh, it will give you a very stiff dough. Um, Adding the butter to. Uh, you can also use um, other fats, um, the traditionally uh, things like pork or beef fat would be used. Um, obviously, if you use different ingredients, you'll have a different energies for this dish. So, if you want to sort of like go with uh, 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 an invitation for. Uh, strength, fertility, love, prosperity, and longevity, you would go with um, pork lard. If you want to have grounding, prosperity, protection, energy, excitement, and strength, you would go with beef fat um, and butter, which I've chosen here because I just prefer the taste of butter. Um, butter would be for spirituality, uh, communication, reconciliation, and enhancing energies. Enhancing energies is obviously something quite... Um, appropriate for Beltane. Um, yeah, at this stage you divide the dough you made into two pieces and form those two pieces into little balls with your hands. Um, I'm just using the baking paper because it is quite sticky as you can see in the in the bowl. Um, yeah, the, um, history of the of the Beltane Bannox. Um, Beltane is obviously a fertility festival, we probably all know that. Um, the Bannock is made to, um, to eat on Beltane morning uh, to ensure the health of the crops and of the herd traditionally. Um, in folk magic you can invoke nine se separate um, Bannocks. Um, you can sort of um, dedicate each one to something that would preserve your livestock from wild animals, something like uh, one for the wolf to spare your sheep, for uh, the fox to spare your lambs, for the eagle to spare your goats, that kind of thing. Okay, we're now at the flattening stage, by the way. Um, you want to sort of like f just pat those down a little bit before you go at them with a, with a rolling pin. Um, these turn out relatively brittle <laughs> while they're not cooked. Um, I kind of... you're supposed to roll them to about a quarter inch thick. Um, I don't do inches very well so I think I had it well, it's probably about just over half a centimeter, maybe just under a centimeter, I don't know. Um, just pop it in a pan with some more butter to fry on a, they say medium heat, I think I used a lowish heat, um, that can just like sit in there and, and cook away nicely in its own time and um, we'll move on to the next, it's basically just rinse and repeat at this stage. Um, so yeah, um, just on a side note again with the oatmeal is a representation for money, prosperity and abundance. 
Um, the salt is for protection, banishing, and exorcism, um, and that we've already covered in, in terms of like what we're um, trying to achieve with that, um, or what we're asking for from the Lord and Lady, or your deity, or whoever you want to address this to. Um, yeah, and what we'll be using in a moment, the rosemary and the honey. The rosemary is for warding of evil spirits, purification and blessings, um, which I found quite appropriate um, for this festival. Um, it also, yeah, uh, just kind of like switching over here. Just ignore what I have. Ign ignore what my, what my hands are doing. Um, yeah, rosemary for uh, warding off evil spirits, purification and blessings, and honey for sweetness, commitment, peace, and solid foundations. It basically makes the good things stick to you. Ah, and here we are. I've, I've added a bit more butter to the pan um, to fry this bannock, and I've then also uh, just put in the rosemary because the the, the rosemary just kind of like infuses the butter with its with its scent and with its taste which is really nice not too overpowering it's nice and subtle which is which is great um and it's sort of like just it's very fragrant and very pleasant and i just really like when i read the recipe for the first time i was like oh might be a good idea and i just flip this one over and what i'm going to do in a moment is just take i think a spoon teaspoon half of honey just drizzled on top of the cake so it can just kind of like melt into the bannock a little bit um, which turned out really, really nice. Um, right, because I'm probably not going to get round to it later, I'm just going to do the little tiny YouTube thing and say, um, if you like this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button below. And if you want to see more of the kind, um, also feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um, and also, obviously, the notification bell if you're interested in being notified, because apparently YouTube seems to be quite bad at doing so. Um, yeah, that's the that's the weird stuff out the way. And we can now just sort of sit and watch the bank getting finished off. I just kind of like... I, I love fidgeting with my stuff in the pan, I don't know why. Okie dokie, and let's cut over to the nice, yeah, here we are, of the finished products. The plain traditional bannock, um, just the oat, water, salt, and lard, and the uh, pimped version, shall we say, um, with rosemary and honey on it. These turned out really tasty. Um, if you end up making these at home, I would love if you tag me at the Winter Child Witch on Instagram um, because I'd be really interested in seeing your take on these and how you sort of like end up adapting them to what you need and what you want. So I hope you had a good time watching this video and I will see you shortly. Have a good day!